don't you just ask him to write her songs? Train announcement. Next stop. Timber. Timber. <laughs> just left him on the floor. <laughs> what a weird dream. Were we all asleep? Maybe someone released some sleeping gas. I know a lot of people were sent seed. Maybe. Better be careful. Am I missing anything? Anyone hurt? I don't think so. What a relief. Everything's cool with me. He, I had such a nice dream. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dream too. It wasn't nice though. It's because you have no romantic bone in your body. I dreamt I was a moron. <laughs> We'll be arriving in Timber shortly. For all those getting off, please sure to have your, all your belongings. Don't worry, my knife, my knife, my sword fits in my pocket. But seriously, Sir Laguna was so cool. H hey, there was a Laguna in my dream too. He's a Galbadian soldier, right? Laguna, Kuros, and Ward. Huh? That's it! That's... what? <laughs> There's no way we can understand this. Let's just concentrate on our first mission. I guess you're right. We'll put this incident on hold. I'll report to the headmaster once we get back to the garden. I mean, he did curse me, so... <laughs> it's true. We should be there soon, eh? Here we go. Psych yourself up, baby! <laughs> Who still sleepy? <laughs> okay. <Ooh>. Trains. <laughs> Looks like a great town. Look, there's a pet shop. Hey, we have maybe. Do they buy magazines off you? <laughs> I don't know. Got pet pails. We got pet pails. You're, you're right. You know, maybe that old lady will want to play Triple Triumph. <laughs> she might. She's laughing to herself, though. She might be crazy. Mm. Yeah, Bent. Oh, the four of Timbers sure have changed. Welcome to Timber, sir. Come with me, sir. Are you okay, kid? On vacation? That's not fair! My Georgie's in there! I hate this pet shop! <laughs> That's can't, it. We can't help him? We can't help Georgie. You okay, lady? Welcome. How's Timber been treating you? We just got here. What? Yep. Well, anyway. Follow the dude. Please, please, this way, sir. Wow, what perfect timing. Mm-hmm. The Raiders. Let's get on another train. Boo. I don't like trains. No, they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just like to be places. We're being places. We're going places. So, you guys are seeds. <laughs> <laughs> nice choice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the squad leader Squall. This is Zell and Selfie. Nice to meet ya. I'm the leader of the forest, Owls. Yep. Everyone else is so nice. <laughs> no so one wants to <laughs> So let's get on with it. What do we do? Here. <laughs> He's still got no <laughs> Just take it easy. Here, let me introduce you. Looks like y'all already met Watts. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's just our princess, then. It's the princess's nap time, sir. <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> hey, Squall, sorry, but could you go get the princess? She's in the last room. Up those stairs! 
Some of the other guys are in the room on- uh, what? Some of our other guys are in the room on the way. Ask them if you get lost. Were we hired to run errands? Well? <coughs> are you angry? <laughs> we're not gophers, we're seeds. Special forces. This is the last time for this kind of thing. Uh, ouch! <laughs> Okay, go get the princess. Look at this weird, like, <laughs> boy band. <laughs> Gotta go get the princess. Ouch, my stomach. <laughs> Getting ready for the strategy meeting, sir. These guys don't seem to have it together. Squall, way to go! You tell them! They can't treat us that way. <laughs> hey. Right. Yeah. Go wake up the princess and then go in there. Because then we can save. Yeah. You did it. <gasps> we know you. Hey, you're, you know, from the party. So does that mean you're a seed? Yep. <laughs> I'm Squall, the squad leader. There's two others with me. Yes! Seed is here! Take it easy. It's just that I'm so happy. I've been sending requests to Garden forever, but nothing. I'm so glad I spoke to Sid directly. Oh. So you were looking for the headmaster at the party. Oh, you were looking for me? <laughs> <laughs> nope. You know Cypher? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's the one who introduced me to Sid. Sid is such a nice man. I really didn't think Seed would come out to help a measly little group like us. But after explaining our situation to him, Sid gave the go-ahead right away. <laughs> now that you guys are here, we'll be able to carry out all kinds of plans. Yep. Kinds of plans. Yes? I'm going back to the others. Okay, let's go! Um, Squall, is he here? He? Cypher. No, he's not a seed. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, my name's... You can name her if you'd like. Nah. Very pleased to meet you, Squall. Seed members dance quite well, don't they? Approach your target inconspicuously at a dance party. There may be missions requiring this sort of subterfuge. Uh, it's expected of Seed to learn various skills. Oh, so it's work-related. That's too bad. Hello! Pepper! It's Angelo! Here, let me introduce you. This is my partner. Angelo. Confirm. Angel is really smart. Here, let me tell you. Tutorial! <laughs> her limit break uses Angelo, so she launches her dog <laughs> off her arm into battle. Oh my god. Angelo, <laughs> rush! Angelo, recover! Angelo, cannon! He's like, um, Falcon. Falcon Punch! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just, just yeah. X right through? Yeah, just X right through. You know right how through. to use Angelo? I don't really use Angelo, but yeah. <laughs> I can use Angelo. Yep. I don't care. Or... I don't care. Let me be beautiful. Wait, what? <laughs> Smart, huh? Did I do something bad? No. <laughs> okay. I have some important work to do now. Be good, Angelo. Okay, I'll meet you there. Stop. Okay. He's so cheeky. Yeah. He's sad. <laughs> Popper. He's just whining. I can't go in there. Okay. Go on and save. 
Mm. Hello, boys. <laughs> oh. We've reached our destination, that's why we've come to a sudden stop. Of course, there's nothing wrong with this train. I'm the one who's taking care of it. You're having a strategy meeting, right? Better get going. By the way, you're really lucky to come away without a scratch. What? <laughs> <laughs> These boys make no sense. They make no sense. No mm -hmm. sense at all. <laughs> oh. Do you remember what we were doing? Um, we just talked to... Is her name Renoa? Mm-hmm. And then we talked to them, and they were like, Go see the other people. And then we're like, are we doing a heist? Kind of? I just know this guy's stomach was hurting. Yeah. This is Zell. And Selfie. How nice of him to do introductions. Hi, everyone. This way. Time to do our meeting with this very obviously organized rebel group. <laughs> Here we go. This part's. I wonder if we're gonna be able to. If you can do it on your first try. Um, just uh, stand anywhere you want. Wait, this is my guy. Oh, sorry. I was. Um, I don't even remember the voices I did. I'm pretty sure as. Uh, like from Boston or something. <laughs> this is a full scale op. I was Joey Wheeler, wasn't I? This is a full scale operation. Our resistance, the four styles, will be forever known in the pages of Timba's Independence. Exciting, huh? Yep. It all started when we got a hold of the top secret info from Gal Baby. I got the info, sir. <laughs> There's a VIP. Super from VIP. Gal <laughs> Galbadia coming to Timber. The guy's name is Vincent, Vincent Dealing is a scoundrel. Our arch enemy and the president of Galbadia. He's a dictator, not a president, not even popular in Galbadia, sir. Our president Dealing is taking a private train from the Galbadian capital. What is Zal doing over there? Sweet. That's the president. He's mad at him. Ah, okay. Our plan is to blow it to smithereens with a rocket launcher. Uh, not quite. <laughs> they shot back. <laughs> so get to the point. Just tell us what to do. Shall we move in? You get to see this cute little animation. First, I'll go over the model. The yellow train on the top right is our base. We're riding in it right now. Mm. Right next to it is the dummy car. <laughs> <laughs> we will make it look like... We will make it... the. We made it to look just like the president's car. Their train has three cars. First, there's the locomotive, followed by the first escort. The red car is the president's car. Dealing should be inside. The last car is the second escort. Once we get on this one, we begin the operation. Our ultimate goal is to seize the president using, wait, to seize the president in his car using our base. That means we'll have to switch our dummy car with their president's car. We'll use the two switch points leading up to Timber to carry out this operation. Okay, now I'm gonna explain the procedures in seven steps. Okay. You got this? Mm. <laughs> Number one, sneak on board the second escort. Mm. We'll get onto the roof of the second escort by jumping from our dummy car. Uh huh. Number two, proceed cautiously across the roof of the second escort. The second escort car is the only one that's equipped with sensors, sir. A high tech officer is on board. I'll talk about the sensors later. Number three, proceed across the roof of the president's car. We can move across the roof of the president's car without worrying too much. Uh, Dylan hates the company of his gods and being surrounded by sensors and keeps them away from his car. Number four, uncouple the first escort car. We'll have to complete the uncoupling before the first switch point. If we don't, boom, game over, right? Yeah, so we'll have to move fast. I'll explain the uncoupling process later. Number five, have the dummy car and our base move in after uncoupling. After the car is uncoupled, we'll have the dummy car and our base move in. At this point, our train and their train will be linked and moving together. Chugga chugga choo choo, bitch. Is this how trains work? Sort of, I guess. Number six, uncouple the second escort car. This is the last uncoupling. The process will probably be similar to the first one. Probably. 
Number seven, escape with the president's car and our base. If all goes well, we should be able to escape with the president's car. After that, we'll return to our base and prepare to confront dealing. We have exactly five minutes to complete the seven procedures. The fuck? If we fail, our train will collide with theirs at the switch point and it will be all over. Don't forget that. Five minutes? Are you sure that's enough? According to the simulation that we ran, it should take only three minutes to complete the operation. Piece of cake for seeds, right? Of course. Too She's easy. so confident. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's talk about how to avoid the sensors on the second escort. Go ahead, Watts. The guards have a sound sensor and a temperature sensor, sir. Any sound will trigger the sound sensor, so move across very quietly, sir. The blue guard is carrying this sensor. So blue is sound. The temperature sensor will go off if you remain stationary, sir. The guard in red is carrying this one, sir. When a guard opens the blind, that means he's checking the sensor, so be careful. The range on these sensors is equal to the length of one window, so keep an eye out for the window below, sir. So exactly how do you avoid them? Um, basically, run or stop, depending on which guard is below you. So blue, stop, run is red, opposite of what you would think. That's about it for the sensors. Next, let's talk about how to uncouple the escort cars. This is so much. I know. <laughs> Question. <laughs> how can you uncouple the cars from a moving train? Um, we can't uncouple the cars directly. Magic. Instead, we'll have to tamper with the control system that manages the coupling. If we tempor temporarily disable the circuit for the connection, the car will uncouple automatically. To disable it, we have to answer several codes. And we have the codes we're- wait, what? I went to Southern Draw there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sorry about that. We have the codes. Renoa has them, sir. Oh, that's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be in charge of relaying the codes to Squall. Squall, you'll slide down the side of the train using a cable and enter the codes into the system. Mm. Now I need you to listen carefully. Listen carefully. Each code is made up of numbers. Wait, I need to write this down. It's just like this. Start one is here, and then you just go clockwise. No. Okay. I'm I'm stupid. I need a. Oh no! I, that's two I took off. My paper. My list. My hope. My <sighs> dreams. So circles one. X is two. Three four. Okay. All right. Each code is made up of numbers between one through four, and has four digits. Two three four one is an example. Okay. But the keypad won't have numbers. Instead, it'll have four buttons. Mm -hmm. For instance, if I relay the code 3124, you'll push square, circle, X, triangle in that order. I. You have to be quick and precise. You'll have five seconds to enter each code. I might need a beer before we do this. This is going to make me so anxious. <laughs> I'm not stopping you if you want to go get a beer. Otherwise, the code will change and our past entries will become invalid. So like we said, you have to enter all the codes to disable the connections. After we uncouple the cars, we'll wait for the others to operate the rail switch. Remember, we only have five minutes to do everything, so make sure that you're prepared. Okay, let's try practicing entering the codes. So you get to practice. Enter three codes and you'll be finished. If you want to quit, hold down L1. Don't do that. The code is 2312. Two... <laughs> <laughs> four one four three. You're running out of time. Four one four three. You did it. Code number one confirmed. Three two three two. Three two three two. You did it too fast. You gotta wait till it pops up. Ah! One okay. three one four. One three one four. You did it. One four three two. One four three two. Yeah. You got it? <laughs> <laughs> sure. In the real thing, there's a strict time limit leading up to the switch point. Don't forget that. Oh, mother trucker. Okay. No, mother trainer. <laughs> um, that's all. By the way, this model's nice, but the president cars looks kind of shabby. Why is that? Yeah, Renoa made it. That's why. We bought everything else at the gift store. Oh, I thought some kid made it. The pink job sucks too. Yeah, it kind of does. 
<laughs> oh, shut up. I made it look like that on purpose. It represents my hatred towards dealing. It's not that bad looking. Hatred, eh? <laughs> yeah, right. It's one of the ugliest things that I've ever seen in my life. You must really hate him. <laughs> Are you guys finished? Enough about the model. Can we get on with it now? <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> yeah. I'm not going over that again. <laughs> Let's decide on the party. Party. Gathering information is my specialty, sir. <laughs> Ouch, my stomach. They're bitches. <laughs> We're moving again. I'll go take a look. All right. Oh, oh. Talk to Watts when you're ready. The sooner the better. Just right, five hold minutes on. Start now. Wait, I kind of. Ouch! No, your five minutes doesn't start now. Yeah. Anarchist Monthly. First issue. Ah. Galbadia's dictator, President Vinezer Dealing Special. How does he stay in power? We reveal his darkest secrets. What are they? No, you don't know. All right, I want. Is this the same thing? Oh, second, no, second issue. issue. President Dealing became the president after the Second Sorcerer's War ended. To gain support quickly, he carried out the invasion of Timber. It was only a ploy to decorate an already corrupt man's immoral career. Our land, Timber, was brutally destroyed. Here began Vinzer Dealing's road to dictatorship. Is there a third one? That's probably it. Oh. Oh. I'm in a bad <laughs> mood. If there's, any, if there's nothing in particular, I order you to leave immediately. That dummy looks real, huh? No one will ever realize that it's a fake. Okay. How does it talk? Alright. <laughs> let me, um, let me. So, this. so, like, it's, this whole process does seem, it seems hard because of all the instructions, but essentially what, you're, what will happen is, like, you'll be able to see the side of the car as you run across it. So when you see, like, a red guard come up, keep running. When you see a blue card come up, stop. Okay. It's like Red Rover. Red Rover, Red Rover. Have you seen the dummy of the president, sir? But Red Rover is when you run into the clothesline and die. Red light, green light. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I just had, like, war flashbacks <laughs> of just, like, hitting my back and breath coming, losing my breath. <laughs> uh... I did it already. Oh, I sorry. Said it. If you have it, please take a look. See, it's a piece of art. We we saw it. I know the kidnapping plan must be tough, but best of luck to you. To what? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Are you ready, sir? Are we? Should we talk to Renoa or is she? Nah, fine? she's fine. You Gucci. Yeah. <laughs>